Saira. In the previous class, we spoke about what is Bhakti Panth. We spoke about the features of Bhakti Panth. Let us take it further. Today we will talk about the important saints of Bhakti Panth. In this part, mainly we will talk about the two very, very eminent, very, very prominent saints of Bhakti Panth, Ramanand and Kabir. And I think Kabir you all would have at least heard because he was very famous for his Dohas. Dohas are like your couplets. Let's start with Ramanand. Ramanand was born in a Brahmin family in Allahabad. Allahabad comes in present Uttar Pradesh. He was a follower of Ramanuja's philosophy. He was a very very ardent follower of the philosophy which was advocated by Ramanuja Acharya. He established a Vaishnava religious school which was completely backed upon love and bhakti that is devotion to God. And Varanasi was a main center for his activities. Varanasi again comes in your Uttar Pradesh. Now, he travelled to several parts of North India and popularised or famous, he made it famous, the worship of Lord Rama and Sita. He condemned the caste system. It means what? He was completely against the caste system. Now, what is caste system? In the ancient India, caste system was a very, very evil practice which was getting practised, wherein the four castes which was existing in India, they were discrimination done on the lower most caste. The four castes were your Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and your Shudras. The Shudras were always being ill-treated or kept completely away from the normal society. So Ramananda completely condemned or he was completely against the caste system. And he allowed people from every caste to join his group. Kabir was one of the such of the follower. He preached in the language of Hindi. Now, Ramananda gave a very, very unique message to the people. It went like this, do not question caste or creed. Think of the Lord and become one with him. God will never question one's caste. Whoever believes in God would be blessed by God. This itself, this quote which was quoted by him, itself tells that how he emphasized that we should treat all the people equally, irrespective of whichever caste or whichever religion they belong or whichever language they speak. Same thing we should also apply in our life. We should never discriminate people on the basis of their background. We should treat each and every human being very very equally. I hope Ramananda is clear. So he was prominent Bhakti saint from northern part of India. Let us take another prominent saint, Kabir. He was one of the main religious and social reformer of India. Regarding reformer, in the previous class I gave the meaning. Still I'll give it again. Reformers are those people who exclusively work so that to reform, to change the society. He lived in northern India from 1440 till 1510. He was born in Varanasi in a family of weavers. I think we all know who are called as weavers, right? The people who weave, known as Jolas. He was a student of Ramananda and spent majority of his time at Varanasi. He began to preach his new philosophy. He condemned caste system just like Ramananda and multiple idol worship. He was completely against idol worship which was multiple that is worshipping many idols. He declared that God is one. And he is the same for let it be Hindus or let it be Muslims. He tried to bring harmony and tolerance between the both the communities. 
it means war he tried to bridge the gap between the two prominent communities in our country in those days that is the hindu and the muslim he emphasized that unity should persist between these two community he preached generally in hindi the common man's language just like his guru and he was able to reach more and more amount of people now how did he reach the people he composed couplets which were called as dohas hindus and muslims recite these dohas even today in northern part of india the followers of kabir were called as kabir pantis meaning travelers who go on the path of kabir kabir das preached that greatness of humanness goes beyond caste and beyond religious boundaries is that clear we will have a quick summary today we spoke about two prominent north indian bhakti pant saints ramananda and kabir ramananda was one of the prominent follower of ramanuja's philosophy varanasi was a main center for his all his activities he established a vaishnava religious school which was completely backed up on love and bhakti he condemned caste system and he allowed people of all the various sections to come and join his sect he always preached in hindi and among all his followers kabir das was the most prominent one kabir das he also just like his guru he also completely spent maximum time in varanasi he condemned the caste system and multiple idol worship he declared that god is one he is same for hindus as well as muslims and he tried to bring harmony among both the communities kabir composed couplets known as dohas and through this dohas he used to preach or teach people which are even now very very prevalent the followers of kabir were called as kabir pantis i hope it's clear students so this is a small piece of homework thank you